Would you agree that prepping and planning is everything when it comes to hosting guests? I am soaking almonds and poppy seeds in advance. This will be used to make a delicious recipe later on. Hosting and entertaining guests can be super fun if planned in the right way. We can make these occasions more special by choosing unique yet manageable recipes, arranging the food and drinks beautifully, and most importantly, hosting with a heart full of hospitality. Stay tuned to the very end to see how I lay everything out for you. I'm planning to cook a paneer dish and I thought it could be fun to change things up a little by using these shapes instead of the standard cubes. Moreover, I found that softening paneer by soaking it in warm water works wonders. I'm going to be using onion in 2-3 to three different recipes, so I'm going to be chopping them all together. Well, here comes the planning bit. Having all the recipes in mind will allow you to save time by chopping the vegetables in large batches. Time is money, my friends. First, we'll get the drinks ready. I am making two varieties today. Simple as they may be, they are a welcome treat on hot summer days. The pudina or mint chas is the first. I never use the pre-packaged cumin that is already in my pantry, preferring instead to roast my own every time I make a batch of chas or buttermilk. The aroma of freshly ground cumin or fennel seeds also is always distinct and pleasant. All the recipe ingredients will be flashing on the screen. On hot days, I like to have a supply of Aam Panna concentrate on hand. Several days ago, I whipped up this batch. We can't host our friends and family without serving mango while it's in season. In most cases, mango flavored drinks are well received, so offering them is a safe choice. I'm additionally adding mint leaves and soaked sabja seeds to the drink. You can even add chia seeds if you like. If you've missed, then do consider watching a previous video of mine on the same topic that I will be linking to in the description box. It includes a few tips and tricks as well that might come to use. If I'm making okra or bhindi for my guests, the last thing I want for it is to be sticky and slimy. I love the way that you love me today. To help with that, make sure you pat dry them very well. I'm going to be using a salad spinner for that today. With you. Cooking for guests or when hosting in general, I somehow tend to be over cautious with things and then the same recipes somehow start to taste different. <laughs> well, sometimes good different and sometimes not so much. Does it happen with you as well? So a tip here I can provide is to just relax and cook as you normally would without worrying too much. Mm -hmm. 
To make the gravy base for our paneer recipe, we will begin with a few simple ingredients. Cook them for a while and then leave to cool down. This gravy is going to be whitish in color and so you will notice that all the ingredients are such. I can be sad with you. you can choose to replace the almonds with cashews if you like or if you wish you can only use cream along with a paste of poppy seeds. But don't omit the cardamom pods and fennel seeds or soft. Indian dishes get a very shahi flavor to them due to these two main ingredients. Since my guests like Indian flavors, I'm going to be making a fusion recipe today. I'm finely chopping bell peppers for this along with green chilies or jalapenos. A bit of coriander, corn, olives are a few other optional things that you can add. We are going to be assembling this dish towards the end, so wait up to see how it finally turns out. A few simple yet elegant changes can really make a big difference in terms of how we make our guests feel. Having said that, more than anything else, they are of course coming in to spend time with you and your family, but I also feel taking a little effort in advance before they arrive can make them feel so really special. Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing, baby. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. Now we didn't care at all about winter or spring or fall. I think keeping some freshly cut fruits is always a good idea, especially for kids. I imagine they'd go crazy for some juicy mango chunks to snack on. We just had one of those things. To make any bhindi recipe, I recommend using a wide pan or cookware. I'm making a straightforward bhindi masala with lots of onion as this combination is divine. This dish is incredibly tasty because of the large number of spices used. She seems to be doing just fine now I think about you. I just can't seem to stop thinking about you. Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing baby. Yeah, we stopped at nothing baby. We will be setting some mango puree with gelatin and also some cream turn by turn. I made two portions in advance. After changing, all that was remaining for me to do was to finally bring things together, serve whatever was ready and cook the remaining things. Here's an interesting thing we'll be making, homemade cream cheese. To make a delicious spread, simply combine some paneer with thick yogurt and a dash of salt in a blender. We will use this to serve our 2 minute snack. These biscuits have a sweet and salty flavor, but just the salty ones would also do. 
If you like, you can sprinkle some chopped capsicum or onion on top. I'm only using ketchup to keep things basic. Don't forget the ketchup though. <laughs> The paneer dish can be brought together when your guests are ready for dinner. This fusion recipe I spoke about earlier is a Mexican bhel. Simply crush and add nachos to the veggies along with salt, lemon, pepper and a bit of ketchup once again. <laughs> When I host, I prefer to keep things visually interesting by serving food at different heights. So here I tried my best to make things easily accessible for them and also easily understandable. It goes without saying that one can double or triple the portion sizes as needed. I like to also provide for some extra things like toothpicks, napkins, some additional dessert spoons for anyone as they may need. Lighting a candle is the simplest way to make for a cozy ambience. So here's all that I did for a cozy evening. Hope you enjoyed along with me today. Here's Home Gap Shop signing off. See you all next week.